Hello Taurus, welcome back to my channel. I'm Delilah Rose. This is Delilah's Spiritual Spot coming with your weekly reading for June 14th through the 20th, 2021. I'm going to jump right into it using my Angel Answers cards um, by Radley Valentine and Doreen Virtue. Please take this opportunity to like, share, and subscribe. And let's see. Also, if you can, hit the thumbs up. It's very good for the metrics. And I, I need some good metrics. <laughs> Taurus, don't stop. Don't stop. And you're going to have to lean on your faith here to continue your journey. Because if you believe it, you will achieve it. Not to sound cheesy. But yes, that's basically what this is saying. Uh, let's see if we can get uh, further answers using my mermaid oracle card deck and then we'll get into your tarot so taurus friendship sometimes having people who have our back and have faith in us is enough to be the catalyst into pushing us forward in life when we feel down uh about ourselves and our abilities. So make sure you have the right team members in your corner, right? Because that's very important. If you're having trouble believing in yourself, sometimes other people believing in you can give you that push you need. So I'll be using my, um, what deck is this? I'll be using my Elemental Wisdom Tarot. Uh, subconscious conscious advice from spirit i'll pull three additional cards and then three more at the end to clarify so nine tarot and uh cards in total theoretically sometimes it's more but nevertheless we're starting off with a bang here taurus having this sun card in our subconscious mind with the nine of cups here so you're dreaming big you are dreaming big taurus and this is your time because with the sun card being present it's literally um kind of like a preordained type of thing uh life's path uh purpose journey um followed by here with this nine of cups and the nine of cups is about wishes coming true material abundance good health i mean this is yeah this is pretty awesome uh the king of wands here in our conscious position i'm doing this in a different order today so i mean sometimes that happens um as a reader you're kind of drawn to do it differently and this is just how this is working out you have the chariot card um clarifying that king of wands yeah you are dreaming big don't stop don't stop because it's gonna lead you to great things great things yeah the only thing that can stop you is you with this ten of swords being present like the ten of swords is a betrayal card generally but it's end cycle right so when you think of the ten of swords think about uh completing a painful ending right hitting your rock bottom so this is why we have the belief card because i have a let's just start from the beginning because i'm jumping the gun here you have the knight of wands clarify at the bottom of the deck it's not clarifying i'm all over the place because this reading is kind of making me feel all, all over the place because i i do have the sense um of being pulled in many not many directions i just want to say there's a lack of focus here like maybe there's a little bit of um add happening or adhd whatever you call it i think that there's so many things you want to accomplish you need to have some direction um because you're headed for great things here so don't stop believe in yourself and sometimes friends could give you that little push you need to keep moving to keep the motivation going because sometimes you don't see the light at the end of the tunnel but someone else does in our subconscious mind you have big dreams you want to accomplish so many things don't stop do not stop what you should do is focus right um 
focus your energy on accomplishing um, the thing you can complete, right? So you want to complete one thing at a time. I'm not saying not to do them all. I'm saying to just take one thing at a time because whatever you're going to do is going to bring you material abundance. It's going to bring you happiness. It's going to bring you great health. It's going to just change your lifestyle is what I want to say, Taurus. This is going to change your lifestyle. This is the energy being present. This is not an actual person uh, in this reading. So this is not a romantic read. This is a you read, Taurus. This is you, right? So you are at, at a creative peak in your life uh, with that King of Wands being present. So it's, um, it's being bold. It's full of fire. It's full of creativity. It's full of the ability to create and manifest whatever it is you want to do. So you have so much energy. Again, it's an unfocused is what I want to say. We need to focus on one thing at a time because something big is coming for you this week, right? So we do have the chariot card there. Um, normally it's without rings because the chariot tier, it's kind of, um, it's kind of uh, like a mission from God or from higher power or from spirit. Um, it's, 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 a, it's an action card. It's a change. It's a, it's a new journey. Uh, something coming and coming quickly for you. Like you're going to see a profit because we do have that nine of cups. You're going to see the abundance, right? Or the beginnings of it. In our outcome slash um, advice from spirit, we have the three of wands. Uh, the Three of Wands is about teamwork. It's about um, expansion. It could mean a travel card for you. Um, right? It could be a travel card for you or just the beginning of a journey. And that's what I want to say. That's where Spirit is le leading me. This is just the beginning of your journey. The advice here is to leave behind those two steps only take the one you're holding. And unfortunately, sometimes that means leading certain people or situations behind as well, right? So whoever you feel betrayed you, whoever hurt you, it's time to leave that behind because it will only hold you back. And that is the advice from spirit. Don't let this energy of the past hold you back because your journey um, it's just beginning and that's represented here by the knight of wands. You're going after your goals You don't want anybody holding the reins, right? You want to hold the reins of your own future Let's clarify So so big things Taurus big things go after your dreams of what you want Don't stop believing in yourself Surround yourself with people who are not going to betray you. Three of Wands again. See, you are dreaming big. You know you are on a journey towards something greater. You can almost feel it. It's tangible for you. You know, maybe you're feeling lucky at this time. Financially lucky. You know, something's going to up, open up for you. Here's the Three of Pentacles. Here's that friendship card again. So sometimes we have to, again, draw in our team. Who is your team, right? Is it your spirituality? Is it actual people here? I have a feeling that it's actual people you need to draw in close, but it's people who are your cheerleaders. And finally, we have this devil. This does not surprise me because this goes along with the Ten of Swords. The only thing that can hold you back is you not moving forward from this energy, this Ten of Swords energy. Because ultimately, you know, with this Two of Cups, again, it's a, a, it's a partnership. Right? It's a partnership. It's a partnership. <laughs> I mean, you have partnership with your spirit team, right? You have a partnership with your friendships who, uh, who align themselves with your dreams. 
that is what the energy you need to keep in mind and have leave behind what no longer serves you this is a better depiction of that you can barely see these two wands he's just grabbing the one maybe it's that one good friend that one good friend you take on the journey with you into success because you are headed towards a lot of success here a lot of abundance the only thing that can hold you back is you i'm delilah rose and this is delilah spiritual spot thank you for joining me taurus